And you all thought I was never going to get a shiny by using this version here. If you want to know the story of how I got this shiny, be sure to check out this video because I'm going to tell you guys how I got it. Start in 3, 2, 1. How's it going everyone? This is Shadow Trainer 1030 and today I have officially finally found a shiny Pokemon and this is related to Pokemon Go. Now one of my previous videos I mentioned about me over 1,000 checks each of the Pokemon. That's why I thought at first I had to check the Pokedex and apparently that's not the case. It felt like that way though. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to first off show you all what that shiny is, give my thoughts on it, etc. But first, before I get into it, I do want to mention that I recently started a brand new giveaway if you're new to Build It. If my channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to run pick one winner to not only receive a fresh new Nintendo Switch, but also a copy of your choice Pokemon Sword or Shield. More details will be at the end of the video. Be sure to check it out. How much you want to reach the goal by sharing it with your friends, family, social media, or whatever you share at, they appreciate it. Alright, so now getting back to talk today's video, I'll start off with what shiny have I got? If you take a look at the screen next to me, yeah, I have got shiny Crow Gunk. I got this from one of the nests. So now to go ahead and explain to you all the story of me getting the shiny. By the time I this video, you might have already, but this video has recorded on April 7th. Now, sometime after midnight, I decided to do some shiny hunting since I had a hard time sleeping. Went to one of the the nests that Lifting Zombies had mentioned, which is Buddha Vest. Did some checking, didn't get the shiny. Then decided to check some other nests, and it was like nighttime around the area, and I surprisingly got a shiny. I wish I'd get you guys my reaction. I can tell you guys that I was super happy of finally getting one, and even though we're like a few days away from the event ending. If you're curious as to how, how many checks it took me to finally get the shiny, this is how many it took. Yeah, that long, uh, but at least a shiny to shiny. So I'm showing you all the gameplay of Evolving straight into Tatsukroak. Now, do you mind that I am planning to transfer the shiny over to my main account, so that way I can be able to be all set to go. And I also told you guys already that if you're main account or what kind of important account of yours had either got a red warning, 30 suspension or kind of thing, just do not play on it, just play legit on it, and you should be fine. I'm not saying that I got any of those things, I'm just telling you guys of what you should do if something happens to your big account. Hey guys, you don't want to lose your really important account of yours. Now comparing uh, Krogong and Toxic Growth to current meta, they aren't going to see much though, but surprisingly, Toxic Growth does pretty well in PvP battles. At least the nice part that their, their strategies are released. Their shinies were released because of the April Fool's event, which, like I told you guys already, it's ending this Thursday or Friday, you guys can prove it or not. So anyways, comparing the the shiny Krogo and shiny Toxic Rogue, I actually like both the shinies because they look pretty nice. That's my personal opinion, you guys have your own opinion. Now that I got the shiny, now, all that's left now is the Shudawudo, Tejurosa, Scorpy, and this other Pokemon. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I end up getting these shinies because uh, surprisingly when I encountered a shiny, it showed the shiny, shiny symbol next to the IV. So that does mean that the shiny does it really does happen in the uh, IPOGO. Alright, so now do I, do I think that the April Fool's event is a really good event? Um, it's both yes and no. I say that because it seems like the April Fool's event is probably the one really hard to get these shinies because they're really good. And I can go on and on. And that's pretty much all I'm going to cover for today's video. The purpose of this video is to let you know that Shiny Krogon does exist in Pokemon Go. Told you what it is. I gave a thoughts on it. The story of the game. And etc. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on everything I covered here. Do you like the Shiny? Do you not like it? Have you got yourself yet? Let me know. They would appreciate it. Hope you all did enjoy today's video. Look watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Check my subscribe bell for more gameplay videos, and I will see you all in the next video.